Hi, I watch a lot of YouTube. Recently, I was thinking about a video I used to do where I tried Wish products that were bookish and I was on YouTube one day and Drew Gooden added another video to his series where he gets Instagram ads and tries them out and I thought of the perfect idea and that is how I came up with today's video. Over the course of a few weeks in December, I went through my TikTok and I picked out three bookish items that were advertised to me and I bought them. And in this video, I will be reviewing them and just sharing my whole process. Thank you to my patrons because without you, I would not have been able to do this video. If you would like to become a patron, that link is down below. Let's get on with the video. Let's go shopping. The first ad I ended up getting was for a book of the month. The month. We also have a lot of other romances in hardcover too. Book of the month, the perfect gift for yourself. We curate the five best books each month, all hardcovers, only picks, and you choose your fave. Stop to get your first hardcover book for only $5. I saw these all over my For You page. Like every time I was on TikTok, I must have gotten two or three ads for book of the month. And it is a service I've never used. I personally am not someone to buy a book subscription service. I just don't buy books that much. I use my library a lot if I'm looking for a new release or I usually pre-order, but I'm not one to spontaneously get a book. So for this video, I am getting my first book of the month subscription. I know it's really popular and I decided to wait till today because it's December 31st and I didn't really like the selections and I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's just buy the book of the month i'm just going to take you through my purchasing of book of the month so it is december 31st the january books have been selected for book of the month and i am going to start my shopping we have black cake which is a contemporary fiction brimming with wisdom a moving story of two siblings who wend their way to reconciliation after losing their mother you know I love a good grief story. Love and other disasters I actually have an arc for. So that I have the full experience I think I'm going to buy all of these. It does say choose one or more now or simply sign up and choose later up to you. Uh, we have a thriller, some short stories, historical fiction, and I actually got an ad for this Fiona and Jane. So maybe I go with that one? I'm not sure. So let me see if the coupon codes work because when I was on TikTok, it gave me a couple codes. So maybe I'll try and use those codes and see if they still work. While I check out, let's get on to the next ad. Next was another book subscription service and this is Literati Kids and it is a kids book subscription service. I got two ads for this. Right to our door. So as both a teacher and a mom, I just love this concept, like the idea of getting books in our kids' hands. And like, there are some great titles here, some books that I've never seen that are just really interesting and they broach like tough subjects, which I love. The one that I found that I'm really excited to read with my daughters are We Rise, We Resist, and We Raise Our Voices. How cute is that? So this is Literati Kids and I actually really love the message behind this. And so how this service works is they send you books and you get to decide before you buy. And I think that's really fun. So I am going to head over and purchase this one as well. I love this. I think this is a really good idea to help kids get more into reading and they get to decide before they buy. I like that a lot. And last is this blue light that attaches to your book. Now, I always love a good reading light, and this one I had trouble finding the actual source. What TikTok tends to do with its ads is they kind of like copy, so I wasn't able to find like the actual website. When you hit like shop now, it would go there but then having to actually look it up online if I missed that because the way that the TikTok ads are is you kind of need to buy it in the moment. So I had a little bit of trouble but this 
is interesting and I'm hoping that it actually does work because it's $38 and that is a lot of money to be spending on a reading light. So I'm hoping that this one works. <music> It's unboxing time. So I have my book boxes here. I also ordered the last and final thing and you'll see that at the end of the video when it comes. First I'm going to unbox book of the month. Here's what it looks like. And I know when I was buying this, I was confused why I couldn't buy more than one. And I think that's because the YouTube ads make it seem like you get all five, but I know that they also mention that you can only get one. I just don't listen to all of the directions. And so that's why I thought I could buy all of them. I still wish I could buy all of them, but Let's just open this. Okay, so they give you a bookmark, which is pretty cool. I love getting bookmarks. And it says, put me in, coach. <sighs> okay. Some Someone just knew to put this in my box. I love that. That's my new favorite bookmark. I also have a booklet and something about the app. And the book is Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho. And I actually have been seeing so many people talk about this. I guess they've gotten it in their book of the month packages. And I am excited to read this. I'm really glad I picked this one. It is about sisters who are Taiwanese and it's all about just sisterhood and stuff. And yeah, this is cool. Let's look through everything else. I like that it has a booklet because it just tells you everything. I think that that is a little bit easier because when I was on the website I was just super confused and I had to like ask one of my friends who has book of the month how to do it. <laughs> so that was book of the month. I am going to be ranking everything at the end of the video so I'm not going to talk too much but that is what was in my package and now let's move on to literati kids. Finally know how to say it. This is huge. <laughs> So we've got this, I guess, like booklet thing. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Ooh, a little snowman card. That's fun. So some activities. Oh, that's so fun. Some activities. That's really fun. And oh my god, there are so many books and I'm excited. So, okay, let's, let's just see what's here and then I'll talk about how this service works. We have Dry by Neil Schusterman. Listen, I think somebody like just knew me. Like, this is amazing. Um, Field Guide to the North American Teenager. Today, tonight, tomorrow, I have been wanting, I got it from the library and then I never got around to reading it. Um, and then I killed Zoe Sopanos and that is a book I've been wanting. Oh my god, so the only book I probably wouldn't do is Nimona just because I've already read it. Um, and I don't really need it. Now, then it just tells you how to pay and everything like that. So I'm going to look at that. My first impression of Literati Kids is I thought they were going to be like children's books. These are all YA, which is super cool. And I'm just thinking about how I was going to do shelf reduction and now I'm just adding books to my TBR. So uh, <laughs> that's fine. Oh, definitely hit like 110 with these, but I still think it's kind of cool. Um, let's see, what's this? Mm. 
I love how it comes with activities. I don't know what this is. I guess it's just like a color thing. I have glasses, so it doesn't really work. <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, that is so cool. I love how uh, personal it is. If you crave adventure, we got it in spades. Embark on this quest for the rest of your days. You're young and you're sharp with so much to see. These books open doors to all that could be. There are riddles to solve, new skies to explore, histories, mysteries, wonder galore. There's more in these pages than first meets the eye, and the treasures you seek aren't all that you find. Ooh. And I wonder if, I don't know, someone just fell out. Oh, I love it. I like that. So maybe they're like, are with an artist or something like that. Kind of like uh, the other subscription boxes do that I'm not going to name because I don't like them. Oh. So there's like these little, um, I forget what they're called, like book plate, I guess. And it says this book belongs to me. Oh my God, that's so fun. Oh, I want to put them all on all my books now. This is so cool. These are awesome. Wow. Oh my god, I love this. This is cool. This makes you feel like a kid again. <laughs> I love this. I do wish though that there was like a card that kind of explained everything because I don't know what this is for. Um, it just says, behind each lens is a different hue awaits radiant treasure just for you so don't wait little one have a view but i don't know what i'm supposed to do with it <laughs> like i don't know if i'm just supposed to do this or just supposed to do this like, i'm guessing that's probably what i just have to do but fun and then there's activities which is really fun and stickers oh i'm gonna make my own snowman that's fun this probably was their december box but this is still fun, I can still do it. Hello, the last and final item has arrived. I probably won't be able to use it until tonight, but let's just open it anyway. Here it is. Out of everything, this is the one thing that I hope really works. I'm super excited. So this is a book light. It is a light panel professional and it says light the page, not the room. And basically you put it on your page and voila, it's supposed to be a book light. I'm very nervous and I really hope this works. Like I'm really excited for this one, but also, it feels a little tedious because if it only clips onto the page, then you have to put it on every page as you read. So the back says it fits any paperback. So I am going to pick a paperback from my shelf and test this out. So I picked two paperbacks. I picked a taller one and then a shorter one because I don't know what size is going to be. So let's just open it and see. Okay, so it just looks like this, so kind of cool. Oh, I wonder if it needs batteries. Triple A, of course it needs triple A because who would have triple A batteries? I don't, I think I need a double A. So, <laughs> you know, to get some triple A uh, batteries for this. So I guess I'm gonna have to go and get some and then I will be able to use this. There's always a TikTok thing that goes wrong and they never give you all of the directions like it doesn't say that you need batteries and it should yeah there's nowhere that it says batteries not included later hello i'm back and it's nighttime, which is pretty 
good for me to test this out. I put three AAA batteries in here and I am excited to use this. So it has a little dimmer and that is how you turn it on basically. It doesn't come with a lot of instructions if any. So that's awesome. <laughs> but um, I have this paperback. I'm not sure if it'll fit, but let's just try it. Oh. I actually think I'm gonna love this. So let's test it out. Let's do this. You know what? Okay, so you just put it here and then there is a little dial. So here there's a little dial and that's basically how you turn the light on. And there you go. <laughs> so it can be whatever you need and then you just put it in and voila. Oh, I actually love this. I think I just found the best bookish item ever. This is the best reading light that I've ever used. I'm always looking for a good book light and I just can never really find good ones. This is my old one from my Wish video, which is ironic because it's actually lasted me a, a long time. I mean, I, I guess not really, <laughs> I guess I'm not really much anymore, but this is the best thing ever. And I just need to show you. I was really scared that this was gonna be a flop, but this is amazing, I love it. So here you go. As someone who reads at night and just needs a lot of light, I love this so much. Like you can even see the light shining on my face. That is how bright it is. Now let me turn off the lights and then show you. So that is one light off and it is still so bright and easy to read. I am in love with this. This is amazing. I was so scared that it was going to be a flop, but it is a win. Let's review. I'm going to rate everything out of five stars and I want to just give a disclaimer that this is strictly a review of my experience. I'm not telling you to get this. I'm not telling you not to get this. These are all of my honest thoughts. These are just my reviews of each service that I use. If you use these, good for you. These are just my thoughts. That's how a review works. I'm gonna rate everything out of five stars. I am gonna start off with book of the month and I personally didn't enjoy my experience. <laughs> and that is more so because I wish I could have gotten more than one or two books. So the way it works is you get a credit when you sign up and so you get a credit a month. And if you want a second book, then you have an add-on and that's like, I think mine was 10. I could have it on the screen just to show some accuracy, but I'm pretty sure it was like 10.57 to do an add-on. So you're basically just buying two books. But I was under the impression that since I see a lot of ads on YouTube where booktubers have five of the books, I went into this being like, oh cool, I can buy all the books because every book was interesting to me. So I wish that I could have bought all of them. There should be an option where you could just buy all five. That's just how I am. But what I do like about book of the month is that there are books that I never heard of. So I can add new titles. Whenever I'm watching a YouTube video and someone is sponsored by it, I always get good recommendations or just am intrigued by the synopsis. So I add it to my TBR. So that was purchasing and then it came fine. You, you open the box, my, my book came, it came with like a little booklet and that was cool. But would I buy it again? No. <laughs> so what I do like about book of the month is that you're introduced to new books. So most of these titles I would have never heard of, which I really enjoy. Though I know there are a lot of qualms and issues with book of the month. I saw a lot on Instagram that people 
were really pissed off and upset that there were no black romances to pick from or romance in general for Valentine's Day. And I know in the past they have promoted American Dirt, which is a very problematic book to the Latinx community. So I just bought them for this video and I would not buy them again, mainly because I don't need this and I would rather just hear about the books and then go get them from my library or something like that because the problem is with book subscription boxes is that is how your TBR just gets bigger and that is what happened to me when I had book subscription services in the past where I just had all of these books that I didn't really want. So it is nice that book of the month you can pick what you want. Another issue I had with book of the month is that I wanted to cancel my subscription and I couldn't find a button. You have to call. So I have to like call a call center and tell them why I'm canceling and it just felt so tedious and it would have been easier to just have a button. Like many subscription services, you can just click a button saying cancel or pause. They do have a pause option. So you have to still call that number if you're going to cancel. And you also have to just talk to somebody and tell them why you're canceling. And it's so awkward. I felt so uncomfortable because I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get this anymore. I just wanted to try it out once and it was just so awkward. I wish I could have just had a button where I just tell you why I'm canceling, just cancel my order and get it over with. I don't know if there's like a little chat thing. This is the only way I saw to cancel. So if there's a different way, I don't know. That is just my experience. It was so weird because I was like, what? Why do I have to call? It would be so much easier to just hit a button that says cancel my membership and then I can just tell you why and do like an exit survey just like Patreon does. So I don't understand why they have a phone number. It doesn't make any sense. So my final rating for book of the month is a three out of five stars. I wish I could have just gotten more books and that I didn't have to call to cancel. <laughs> that just felt so weird. I was like, what do you mean you have to call? Why can't I just click a button and do it? Because it's just so much easier than like I have to take time out of my day and to remember to call because if not, then I get it for the next month and I don't want that. So that was my experience with book of the month. This really just wasn't catered to me. I'm not someone who likes book subscription services because I would rather just get stuff from my library. But I do like that you are introduced to book titles you may have never heard of. Next was Literati Kids. And this subscription service was fun. I really enjoyed it. So let's talk about the purchase experience. So you may have only saw the initial purchasing. Now, the way this works is you are given these books and then you pick the ones you want and then you have to send it back within seven days. So what I did like is I could go on to my page and account and see how many days I had left because once it arrived, I was waiting to film this video and I'm glad that I actually did it on time because then I would have been charged for all the books that I didn't want. Um, so the purchasing experience was easy and I thought it was great and I enjoyed it. So now let's just go on to the service itself. I'll have my final total up on the screen of what I got with all of these books. So you send it back and then they give you an invoice for what you bought. So you have to pay, I believe 15 for the box itself and then you have to pay for the books. So that could be a hit or miss, but I think it was still pretty reasonable because it does tell you, I hope I saved it. I don't know if I actually did. Oh, uh, here it is. It actually tells you all of the books that you got and what their list price is and what Literati charges. So if I kept five in total, it would be $53.99 and the list price is $77.95. And then it also tells you the Amazon price. And I thought that was cool. You're supporting a small business and that's great. 
um, or are they small? I'm not sure, but you're helping a bookish business nonetheless. I loved this so much. I really loved all of the books that I got because they're actually books that I've wanted. So someone curated the box to me. So let's review again. Here I got four books. <laughs> it came with a slip to send it back and it was just really easy and I had a good experience. Also, it came with this fun sticker book and all like that. I did think I was going to get more like children's titles because I got like the kid box and so I thought I was getting middle grade and I got young adult, which I'm fine with, but I was confused by it saying kid. I feel like it should have said teen box instead. Um, and that's kind of it with Literati Kids. I thought it was awesome and it was a good time. So thank you for, I don't know who I'm thanking. So I'm giving Literati Kids a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a cool service. Another feature that I really enjoyed was that you could donate your used books. So I was able to actually send back, I believe three or four books in my box to donate to them. So I really enjoyed that. So I was just contributing to their business and I thought that was really cool. And now I have those books out of my hands. So I really enjoyed that. And last is my reading light from Casanova. This took the longest to ship, but I got it on sale and it was also free shipping. It is originally priced at $32.99. I got it, I believe, for $23.99. If that's wrong, it'll be up on the screen. But this is a light panel. And as you saw in my unboxing and just using the product, I am obsessed with this. I have not used it on my own yet because I'm reading on my iPad at the moment, but this is definitely a good purchase that I'm going to be using in the future. The purchasing was easy, but I did have to wait a little while because it actually ships from Shanghai. So that was fine, but I just love this. It's awesome. Let's talk about the service itself. I wish that it did tell you that you need batteries because if you're giving someone this as a gift, they're going to have to run out and get triple A batteries. And those are sometimes hard to find. You need three. So just if you're going to get this, just letting you know, you're going to need some triple A batteries. I really enjoy it and I will be using it for a very long time. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. It is pretty sturdy. It does have a dimmer and to turn it off you really have to go to the end and I was a little afraid that it was going to break so I would say to use it lightly. It definitely is a good product. I really enjoy it. It's probably my favorite thing that I got in this video so I am giving this light panel a five out of five stars. I love this so much. Every product I bought in this video and reviewed will be linked down below if you would like to check it out. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this video possible. I would not have been able to do this without you. So thank you so much. If you want to become a patron, the link is down below. You can pledge $1 to become a paperback pal and be a part of our Discord and our book club and also get my podcast episodes every Sunday, a day before they go out to the public. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my bookish content. I make a lot of TikTok videos, so I will have links down below to all of the TikTok videos I've ever done. I have done a lot on this channel. So thank you for watching. Let me know what your favorite product was in the comments. And if you don't want to leave a lengthy comment, comment a hockey stick emoji down below so I know you stayed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.